Communist Party of India CPI candidate from Bayanad Annie Raja has also filed a nomination against Congress leader Rahul Gandhi she joins us for a chat thank you ma'am for uh, uh, speaking to NDTV uh, you have filed your nomination from Bayanad a constituency that has Rahul Gandhi as the MP from and there has been a lot of back and forth comments from both left and congress saying that this is a setback to opposition unity your comments see uh, uh, this is a democracy in a democracy uh anyone can contest from any seats that is uh, uh, number one the thing is that uh, uh, i know why you are asking this question you are asking this question because uh, the parties uh, my party and uh, uh, mr rahul gandhi's party we are in, at national level we are in an alliance that is india alliance and uh, uh, i must tell you that uh, in the formative stage of india alliance uh it was made very clear to all the leaders of uh india alliance uh, uh, parties that uh, in kerala uh, the electoral um combinations are ldf uh, is ldf and udf and hmm. it will continue uh, whatever uh, may be the national uh, thing but the fight will be between ldf left democratic front and uh, united democratic front so it was accepted and acknowledged by all the uh, india alliance uh, partners so uh, uh, accordingly uh, the left democratic front in kerala has announced all its uh, 20 candidates 20 constituencies are there in kerala and all the 20 uh, names of all 20 candidates were announced by left front well in advance uh, uh, or much much before the election schedule is announced and why mm. uh, uh, not is uh, among that uh, 20 uh, uh, 20 constituencies and my name is uh, there in uh, as a candidate left one candidate from vinad so that that's how this uh, all uh, all thing uh, emerged but when the stated intent is taking on a party like the bjp and also a popular prime minister like narendra modi nationally don't you think this defeats that purpose of putting up a united opposition face you see it's a, uh, uh, definitely bjp uh, uh, is using and they will use it uh, uh, as a weapon to um, uh, so or, uh, or to attack uh, the india alliance and uh, that should have been avoided and the uh, now the situation is created uh, and the entire responsibility lies with the congress party and mr rahul gandhi because left has already announced its uh, uh, candidate uh, and uh, uh, after that only congress very recently only congress has uh, or udf has finalized its candidate so Uh, taking into consideration the the larger danger to the democracy uh, to the secularism and above all to the constitution uh, congress should have been uh, uh, taken a more serious uh, uh, serious uh, look into it and uh, they should have decided accordingly but uh, by fielding rahul gandhi in kerala and in vayanad uh that shows that congress is not that serious about the uh, political situation which is prevailing in this country so right. the the congress should answer yeah. why such a situation is created So, Ma'am, Chief Minister of Kerala, Penarai Vijayan, has also lashed out at Rahul Gandhi for seeking re-election in Vyanad and not taking on the BJP directly as of now. What are your views on that? You see, uh, the uh, uh, point is that. Uh, again um, uh, in an alliance we, we are uh, saying that our uh, congress or uh, and cpi and left parties are we are in alliance in uh, at the national level but in an alliance adjustments are uh, in a part of those alliances only when uh, parties are uh, uh, ready to uh, uh, adjust uh, seats uh, with each other uh, uh, that is uh, 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 and uh, shift uh, the constituency or take a new constituency like that even you look at uh, bihar or look at any other places so uh, that way congress should have been uh, fielded uh, mr rahul gandhi 
uh, uh, from many other states. There are uh, uh, in in uh, Tamil Nadu, we are in alliance. Uh, in Telangana, the only state where Congress won in the last uh, assembly elections, where the only states where Congress had alliance with the left, there yeah. they won the uh, the state. And uh, uh, so that is why uh, the Congress is not, it seems Congress is not that serious uh, in fighting uh, and defeating fascism. And they are taking right. a very, uh, very, uh, very soft uh, sort of an approach and attitude towards BJP and Sangaparivar fascism. That is right. why we are saying uh, we could have, uh, or pa the Congress party should have fielded him from a different uh, constituency and uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi should have taken uh, on uh, uh, BJP and uh, that uh, gives more uh, 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 more uh, sort of um, um, fighting spirit to the entire um, entire uh, left uh, sorry uh, the India Alliance that should have been given uh, more spirit to the India Alliance but uh, he has chosen to uh, contest from uh, Kerala and that too from Vainad and that shows uh, Rahul Gandhi's only purpose or the Congress party's only purpose in contesting uh, in this election is to win a, simply a seat. So if it is so, they could have uh, uh, contested or he could, he could have uh, uh, contested from other states. It is very easy for him, whether it is Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Karnataka. But uh, if it is uh, yeah, yeah, fight, he is fighting uh, to defeat BJP and Sangaparivar uh, fascism, then it should have been from a, uh, a different uh, constituency. That is what. So Rahul Gandhi too has reached out to people in Vainad and all political parties of Vainad saying that everyone is his family. Uh, where else do you think he could have contested from? No, that's what I'm saying. Now, uh, by, by uh, 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 contesting from Vainad, uh, he give sends out a message that he wants to just simply win a seat and be in parliament. And uh, we are not as left front candidate or left front uh, is not uh, simply thinking that it is, it's not uh, simply winning a, a, a constituency. It is a fight uh, to defeat. That is the, the biggest, uh, big, who is the bigger enemy for uh, Congress? Is it uh, left? Or is it uh, 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 Sangaparivar fascism? That is what Congress needs to answer those questions. And it is the Congress which has created the entire mess. And Congress is sole, resp the entire responsibility lies with Congress. And they should answer this. And what is the relevance of left uh, right now, ma'am? Because, uh, you know, both socially and politically, considering that since 2009, the party has been on a state of decline, uh, specifically when you have an opponent like today's BJP with uh, a figure like uh, Narendra Modi, welfare, identity, politics and Hindutva also, you know, uh, sort of on the rise. No, yeah, you cannot uh, say that uh, left... Uh, um, uh, Relevance has gone down or anything because electorally, as you said, electorally, we might not have been performed well. But uh, the ideology uh, with which we are uh, uh, fighting against uh, uh, the fascist forces and uh, to safeguard the constitution and constitutional values of uh, democracy and secularism, people are recognizing it and people are joining us in our effort to uh, safeguard and protect the constitution and constitutional values. So that way we are uh, much, much stronger than uh, the Congress. Uh, today I tell you, today I filed my nomination as a left front candidate and Mr. Rahul Gandhi also filed his nomination uh, as a UDF candidate. And uh, uh, we, what we witnessed, there was not even a single Congress flag of course, they had some cap and all those things, but there was no flag at all. Why? Last time, do you you might be uh, remembering that uh, the Muslim League had their flag. The Muslim League is in uh, UDF, and uh, Muslim League had their flag, and uh, BJP started uh, uh, propagating that uh, uh, it is all uh, Pakistan flag. And uh, instead of protecting uh, Muslim League's right to hold their flag and uh, uh, resist BJP's attempt to malign 
Muslim League, which is a partner of UDF. What they did this time, they did not allow uh, 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 Muslim League also to hold their flag and uh, they themselves did not hold their flag. And you surrendered completely before the uh, fascist forces and uh, uh, you are saying uh, that uh, you are uh, there to defeat uh, fascism and safeguard uh, uh, people of uh, this country. If you uh, uh, you cannot uh, safeguard your flag or protect your flag or hold your flag, and you are, you are surrendering before the fascist forces, how can you uh, uh, you defeat or safeguard? the, the uh, people of this country and the constitution and constitutional values. This is the question today the people of Vainad are asking. Even Congress people are asking, hey, what happened to our flags? There is no flag. And how confident are you of winning Vainad? No, it is. I, I, I'm, I have my full confidence in the people of the uh, electorate of Vainad because I'm here for the last more than a month. And I am interacting with the different sections of people uh, across this uh, constituency, and uh, uh, they, I am, uh, I, I have conversations with uh, them to understand what are their expectations from uh, me as a candidate. Then they are telling me that even uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, the Vayanad in in Malayalam, it's a four-letter word, Vayanad, four letters. These four-lettered word uh, in the last five years, not even once raised in parliament. So people feel that they are betrayed by Congress Party UDF and uh, by not uh, taking up any serious issues which are concerning the life and livelihood of the people of this constituency. So I am quite confident I am uh, in in uh, in the electorate that uh, they will assess. The performance of the uh, their the sitting MB and uh, they will uh, definitely um, uh, will uh, vote for me or the left as a left front candidate.